hey guys so welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm going to show you how to do the spaghetti with meat sauce if you would like to see how i cook this please continue on with the video and i will show you the ingredients and the process of doing this so this is the ingredients you will need for today's recipe you will need one can of tomato paste a six ounce one one can of tomato sauce, a 15 ounce. One can of diced tomatoes. It doesn't matter what type of um, diced tomatoes that you get, as long as it's diced tomatoes. And also, it doesn't really matter what type of, um, I guess, ingredients comes in it. I get some Italian style because I just like the flavor of it. But you can get one without no, basically like plain um, diced tomato. You will also need garlic powder, salt, basil, black pepper, oregano, and minced onion. Also, you will need a pound of ground beef and one pack of thin spaghetti. You can also use the regular spaghetti, but my family personally likes the thin spaghetti one. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is gonna turn on my stove on high heat and this is the water for the spaghetti and what i like to do first is let it boil and then put some salt in it and then the spaghetti which either way i'll show you how i do it and while i'm waiting for that to heat up i would do the spaghetti um the spaghetti sauce or the meat sauce since it's gonna have meat in it <laughs> so i'm gonna cook the ground beef and i'm gonna put the stove on high for right now And I did have this frozen, so don't mind how it looks. It was frozen, and I defrosted it, so that's why it looks how it looks. <laughs> because normally, we don't need everything luego luego in this household. So I'm gonna let this like cook halfway through. And I'm gonna show you what ingredients I put in with the meat. Since I like to have my meat half cooked and half uncooked, this is when I like to put in the ingredients. Because I feel like it gives it more, a little more flavor like that. I'm gonna add the minced onion. And like as you can see, it's cooking pretty fast. Wow. Um, trying to show you this. So I'm gonna add the minced onion. I'm probably gonna add like, I'm gonna add this whole thing. It's probably like a tablespoon. Put it in there. And then about probably a tablespoon of garlic powder. Of course, the, the, so many times that I cook this, I kind of just like kind of wing it. I kind of know how much to put in it. So I'm going to let that cook a little more. And now I'm gonna bring down the heat to like medium high. So it doesn't burn on me. Because I still need to put the rest in here. Some more ingredients in here. I would normally have the um, vent on, but since I'm recording for you guys, I'm gonna have it off so you can hear me too. So I'm so sorry about the smoke. Hopefully you can still see <laughs> what I'm doing. And if not, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna just set this off for a sec for a moment. Cause now I'm gonna add the spaghetti since the water's starting to boil now. So this is where I like to add the salt. And I like to sprinkle it all over. And like I said, I use this whole packet of uh, spaghetti. And the way I like to do it, or I feel like it gives it a little more spaghetti, especially with all a family of four, I like to break it in half. You can give it a little more. And now, now it's fully, oh, I'm fully cooked. It's fully cooked. I'm going to add the... I like 
she adds the cake first. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter which order you go, but I like to add the paste first. The tomato paste. And I use the whole pan. And this process, you might have to um, bring the the heat a little lower depending on your stove because this is gonna jump on you. Like, I really do mean it's gonna jump on you, the sauce. Because if it gets too high, then, you know, like, create bubbles and it's gonna pop, so. You don't want that to happen. Because you kinda let it have to let it sit here, cook a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down. For right now, I'm going to bring it down to medium. And I'm just trying to incorporate the tomato paste all into the meat. the tomato sauce, the whole can. And the tomato, the diced tomato. And this one, I don't like to use the whole can. Me, personally, I really don't. You can add the whole can if you want to. But I just mostly put like, let me see, like half of it. Half of the can in the, into the meat sauce. And then you gotta maneuver it every few seconds so it can cook evenly. But like I said, if you, if it starts, like I said, it depends on the stove and if it starts like bubbling on you and you know, you're going to see what I mean. Like if it starts to bubble on you, if it starts bubbling on you too much, it's going to like be popping in your face. Like it's going to, the sauce is going to go into your face and it's going to go all over. And we don't want that. So now I'm going to add the other ingredient, which is. which is basil. Oregano. As you can see, it starts to do that. But if it's too hot, it's gonna happen like all over and you don't want that. Oh, that's a lot. I want a little bit of heavy and then on the oregano. That's too much. <laughs> you don't wanna go too much like that. Also, you're going to add black pepper. We're gonna cook this like in 10 minutes. You gotta stir every few seconds, like I said. And also be careful with the heat. Because we don't want it to start doing those little bubbles like this, I was saying. Like basically like to boil. There you go, like it's trying to boil. You don't want that. And then you could try to taste it. And if you want to add a little more salt or pepper, you can you can do that. Everybody has a different um, taste. And then you know, you could add however much you want. 
But just let it cook for like 10 minutes. And, and like I said, just keep on stirring it. Now I'm going to taste. I think it's pretty good. Let me think. Well, it's about to do the boil. That's what I mean. Like they get bigger and bigger. Okay, now that I got the spaghetti done, I take it out and I just let it sit there for a little bit and then I'm going to transfer it into that container. And that's where I'm going to put everything. Oh, okay. I forgot to turn it off. And now it's done. And now I just need to mix it in all in. But everything is good to go. So I hope you enjoyed today's um, video and I hope you did enjoy this recipe also. And if you do, please let me know in the comment below and also give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on to the next video guys. Bye!